Well, good morning to you. I'm Jenny Malkowski. And I'm Jason Ostell. Full body interval shred. They make me feel so bad because they're about to work out. <clears throat> and I'm like, <laughs> you're crushing, crushing that. a bagel. <laughs> Listen, let me have my carbs, OK? Sure. <laughs> Cindy, I, much like you, am always thinking about my rectus abdominis. <laughs> really, you are. Throughout the day, I just, oh, just always... all day. Oh. I've been taking notes. <laughs> Squeeze the glutes. Yes. Got it. I'm sure you are, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, ladies. I can do that here. <laughs> you can, actually. It's a good workout. Look at, look at how we lift. Yeah, we see us hopping up and down. <gasps> wow. <laughs> all okay. right. Moving on. Okay, so. Take a look at this. Come to your screen here. A large bear in North Carolina found himself trapped inside of a car. It's hard to tell, but he's actually lodged in the windshield. Apparently, he was like foraging for stuff. Now, eventually, the bear broke free and ran off, but the family, they say, they were shocked to see the path of destruction. Oh my gosh, look at that. <gasps> wow. Seats were mangled, snacks were eaten, it even tinkled on one of the kids' school books. <laughs> Maybe he didn't agree with the curriculum. Well. <laughs> Despite the damage, the family said they were glad the bear made it out unharmed so she could be reunited with her cubs. She micturated in the car. She micturated. <laughs> she probably was freaking out. She couldn't get out, so she just, just you know. Just went crazy. Wow. wow. Poor thing. I'm glad she's S okay. can smell the food in there. Yeah. All right, the San Diego Zoo's released an update on two California condor chicks that hatched at the safari park last oh, month. Oh, look at this. The zoo officials say, oh, the mom laid two eggs known as double clutch. Because of this, wild care specialists are currently puppet rearing. That's what they call it. One of the chicks while mom raises the other hatchling. The adult condor you see on your screen, it's not actually a condor. It's really a mitt designed to look like a condor that's used to provide comfort when feeding and caring for the chicks. California condors, by the way, are an endangered species. Can't get enough true crime? Well, now is your chance to get paid for your obsession. Okay, so one person is going to get the job of binge watching true crime shows. You get $100 an hour. Oh, sign me up, Amen. man. The documentary streaming service Magellan TV is looking for someone to binge watch true crime docs. Then, after that, you just have to share your experience on social media. That's it? <laughs> So the mm -hmm. job post says the selected person has to watch the true crime docs back to back for 48 hours, 100 bucks an hour, do the math, $2,400. The winner, along with 100 runners up, they're going to get a free membership to Magellan TV for a year. Are you a true crime buff? Not for 48 hours in a row. <gasps> How are you going to stay awake? It's not enough time. All around the world have voted and decided vanilla is the best smell. An international, hold on. An international team of researchers found that it's human nature to enjoy certain smells. Okay, got that. The team asked people from around the world to rank a variety of smells from pleasant to unpleasant. Of all the odors, people ranked vanilla as the most pleasant smell. The second favorite was a chemical that has a peach-like scent. On the stinky side of the survey, most people considered an acid commonly found in cheese, apple juice, and foot sweat. Lovely. <laughs> to be the worst odor. The team's next step is to understand why humans evolved to universally like or dislike certain smells and what goes on in the brain when we smell a specific odor. <laughs> You know what the worst smell in the world is? What? Hockey gear. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're from Chicago. You got to know oh, that. Oh, but like, or just like <laughs> pre-pubescent boys oh. or a, as they're going through puberty in hockey gear. Oh, wow. Yeah, that no, that's a funk all the time. <laughs>